Millions in Syria and Iraq are facing water shortages as the region's longest river, the Euphrates, dries up. In the heart of the Middle East, the ancient Euphrates River has flowed for countless millennia, silently witnessing the rise and fall of empires. Its waters have nurtured civilizations, quenched the thirst of millions, and carried the weight of history upon its mighty currents. In recent years, it has been gradually drying up, thrusting millions of people into a period of drought. However, the river's decline aligns somewhat with a prophecy. Join us as we uncover the enigma behind the drying of the Euphrates River and delve into the fascinating discoveries that lie hidden beneath its waters. Let's begin. The Euphrates River, that super old waterway that's seen it all, is in big trouble. It's drying up faster than a drop of water in the desert sun, and millions of people across Turkey, Syria, and Iraq are feeling the heat. We're talking about a severe drought, and it's showing no signs of slowing down. The Euphrates River is no ordinary body of water. It's a liquid lifeline that has sustained civilizations for over 10,000 years providing fertile land for agriculture, transportation, and culture. It's hard to overstate the significance of this river in shaping human history. It created the Fertile Crescent, a cradle of civilization where ancient Mesopotamians perfected agricultural practices that spread to other parts of the world. From the birthplace of civilization in Babylon to the modern-day metropolis of Baghdad, the Euphrates has nourished countless generations of people. But now, a chilling prophecy seems to be coming true as this vital source of water is drying up before our eyes. The Euphrates is the longest river in Asia, with a rich history dating back to biblical times. It was even mentioned in the Bible as one of the four rivers that were said to originate from the Garden of Eden. For centuries, the Euphrates served as a vital dividing barrier between the East and West, shaping key events such as wars and invasions that have shaped the distribution of power in Asia and North Africa. The river's banks have also yielded incredible historical artifacts, including remains of early Homo erectus dating back over 450,000 years. The Euphrates River flows through steep gorges and canyons in Turkey before moving through lowlands in Syria and ultimately cutting clear across Iraq and entering into the Persian Gulf. Unfortunately, this ancient river is now drying up, with a significant drop in water levels along its path. In many parts of Iraq, the river has completely dried up, leaving behind barren land where there used to be a thriving river. Despite this, the Euphrates River has been an important feature of many fascinating stories and historical events. Among them is the supposed discovery of the tomb of King Gilgamesh. The Epic of Gilgamesh recounts the epic tale of a mighty king who ruled over the state of Uruk, nestled among the banks of the Euphrates River in present-day Iraq. This tale is so old that it was written over two millennia before the birth of Christ. That's right, we're talking old school. But don't let the age of this masterpiece fool you. It's still considered one of the greatest works of Middle Eastern literature, and for good reason. It's packed with adventure, drama, and even a bit of mystery. According to the book, when Gilgamesh finally kicked the bucket, he was buried in a tomb beneath the very river that flowed through his kingdom. How cool is that? The tomb was said to have been built after the waters of the Euphrates parted, revealing a perfect spot for the king's final resting place. Some daring claims have emerged in recent years, suggesting that the tomb of Gilgamesh, the legendary king himself, has been discovered. Yes, you heard that right. There's even footage circulating that supposedly shows an archaeological team unearthing the remains of this fabled ruler. Although the details of the find have been somewhat shrouded in secrecy, it has managed to ignite passionate discussions among scholars and enthusiasts. Gilgamesh, the son of a Sumerian king and a Mesopotamian goddess, was a demigod endowed with extraordinary strength and power. He ascended to the throne of Uruk, ruling with might and sometimes even tyranny, causing his subjects to live in fear of his formidable presence. 
In the renowned epic of Gilgamesh, the gods intervened after hearing the cries of the people. They created Enkidu, a wild man formed from clay and the divine saliva of Anu, the king of gods. Enkidu challenged Gilgamesh to a legendary contest of strength, resulting in an epic battle that reportedly lasted for days. Despite emerging victorious, Gilgamesh was so impressed by Enkidu that the two became inseparable friends. However, tragedy struck when Enkidu met his untimely demise. Gilgamesh was devastated and embarked on a grand quest to discover the meaning of life and conquer death itself. For many years, Gilgamesh was regarded as a mere fictional character, a hero of myth and literature. But archaeologists uncovered what they believe to be his burial site and an expansive land that corresponds to the description found in the epic, including buried Babylonian structures and properties spanning over 100,000 hectares. What's truly remarkable is that all of these discoveries were made in the desert, a stark contrast to the importance of the Euphrates River in Mesopotamian civilization. This suggests that the ancient inhabitants of this area possessed remarkable resources and tools that allowed them to thrive in a challenging environment. The revelation of these findings not only confirms the historical existence of Gilgamesh, but also sheds light on the ancient people and their ability to establish a vast network of land and property in an arid region. It is a testament to their ingenuity and adaptability. Moreover, as we delve into biblical prophecy, it's intriguing to observe discoveries that may align with the narratives found in the Bible. Alongside the unearthing of the ancient tomb, the receding waters of the Euphrates River have unveiled six distinct historical periods, each with its own unique artifacts and treasures. These periods span the Sumerian, Akkadian, Assyrian, Greek, Byzantine, and Islamic eras, providing us with a glimpse into the rich tapestry of the past. Despite the construction of the Euphrates Dam in 1968, which resulted in the flooding of numerous ancient sites along the river, a handful of monuments and artifacts were salvaged from destruction. The region surrounding the Euphrates River is home to hundreds of Syriac Christian monasteries and numerous cemeteries. Interestingly, when the sun shines brightly and the lake water turns clear, submerged cemeteries can be distinctly seen, adding an ethereal dimension to the landscape. In the western district of Raqqa, intriguing graves have emerged on the right bank of the lake, offering glimpses into the ancient lives that once flourished in this region. However, the left bank remains a mystery as its rocky terrain poses a challenge for excavations. Who knows what hidden wonders lie there, waiting to be unearthed. But that's not all. Across the border in Iraq, a treasure trove of ancient cities and monuments has been unveiled as the waters of the Euphrates recede. Imagine the excitement when the ancient city of Talbas emerged in Anbar, Iraq, its time-worn stones basking in the sunlight once again. And that's not the only revelation. Thanks to the lower water level at the Haditha Dam, over 80 historical monuments have made their grand entrance, as if rising from the depths of time itself. Now let's venture into Iraq's Kurdistan province, where the Antiquities Department of Duhok has made a mind-blowing announcement. Brace yourself for the discovery of a Mitanni Empire city, an awe-inspiring find dating back a whopping 3,400 years. This remarkable city was revealed when the floodwaters of the Tigris River Basin withdrew, unveiling the secrets of a bygone era. And there's more. Another astonishing discovery triggered by the shrinking Euphrates River is the long-lost city of Zakiko, a name that resonates in Babylonian writings. As archaeologists dug deeper, an entire city unfolded before their eyes. Magnificent buildings, including a regal palace and an imposing fence, stood as testaments to the grandeur of a forgotten civilization. They even stumbled upon precious cuneiform texts, providing a fascinating glimpse into the lives of those who once called this city home. But what truly amazed researchers were the remarkably preserved underwater mud walls, which had been sun-dried for over four decades. These sturdy walls endured the test of time, 
protected by the remnants of a city-destroying earthquake that concealed them beneath layers of debris. With each new discovery, the mysteries of the Euphrates River deepen, leaving us in awe of the wonders that lie beneath its currents. It's as if the river itself is a living history book, waiting patiently for us to unveil its secrets. Who knows what other extraordinary facts and artifacts are yet to be revealed? The Euphrates River holds the key to an ancient world that continues to shape our understanding of the past and guide our future. As we continue to explore the region, the possibilities are endless. We could find the remains of an ancient civilization or a legendary king's tomb. The sky's the limit, and we're already on the edge of our seats, waiting to see what's next. What mysteries does the Euphrates River hold, waiting to be discovered? Like, share, comment, and watch more content like this, here.